What is up, everybody? It is Friday, December 16th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. We're gonna be doing a how much snow remains in Big Bear video right now because I've had a lot of people who have sent me messages asking about how much snow I think is gonna be here for today and Saturday and Sunday. So I thought I would show you guys so you can see with your own eyes. So we're gonna drive through Big Bear City as well today. Go up to Sugarloaf and then come back down through the village and come back. So basically the main drag, so you guys can see and judge for yourselves whether you wanna drive through this area or not. I suggest you guys do. Um, the roads are in great condition. Our snowplow people do a phenomenal job. These wet spots you see in the road right now, so these are what you need to be concerned about at nighttime or early morning when the temperatures freeze. All this snow on the side that's melting during the day, and right now it's 42 degrees. Hang on a second, it's 42 degrees. There's the map right there. That's where we're at, that little blue dot right there. Um, the snow melts, and then at nighttime, what doesn't evaporate refreezes on, on the road and it turns into black ice. So you need to be extra, extra cautious. When we get humongous snowstorms, which is very rare these days, um, people come up a month later and just don't think about slippery roads or anything like that. However, there's a lot of accidents because of that thinking. As I said, this snow melts during the day and a lot of it ends up just like this, right in the road, and then it freezes. And then slippity slip, you lost your grip, you're not gonna have fun when you're spinning around. So, I just want you guys to be safe and I want you guys to have a freaking awesome time up here. It's not fun when you uh, are spinning out. Definitely not fun. Unless you're doing it on purpose, then yes, it's very, very fun. So right now we are about to exit Big Bear Lake and head into Big Bear City. We're crossing a street called Starvation Flats and Stanfield Cutoff if you make a left. And that's a very, very beautiful part of town. That that little road right there, um, it it's basically at the end of the lake. So you get a beautiful lake view when you take that road, when you look out to the left. And then out here, there's nothing out here, just a empty prairie area. But when we get humongous storms, this will turn into a lake as well. I'm telling you, this place is gorgeous, you guys. There's so much beauty up here. There is so much beauty. So how's everyone doing today? Thank you guys for all the love and support. These messages that you guys send me are unbelievable, like unbelievable. And I hope you guys see that I answer every, every comment every single comment and it's not like copy paste copy and paste copy and paste i personalize it for everybody because you guys mean that much to me i'll, I'll take as much time as it takes to do these videos for you guys because you guys are freaking awesome and you guys make me feel so good especially when i'm so down so much of the time so thank you all it, it doesn't take much to be nice it really doesn't and and you guys overwhelm me with kindness and i'm the luckiest guy in the world i really am so thank you guys so much and i as I always tell you guys, I'll never let you guys down. I'll, I'll continue to do this and keep on kicking butt and taking names at what I do. So, this is Big Bear Snowplay, guys. This is a snowplay park. This is where you can pay to go sledding, and it has a motorized walkway that pulls you up to the top so you don't have to waste all your energy constantly going back up to the top of the hill. The kids can have a freaking blast and just enjoy themselves without getting too tired. So you can really get your money's worth there. And right now we are in Big Bear City. This is less of a tourism area. This is where a lot more locals live on this side of town. Um, the further we go this way, the less snow we will run into. That's how it works up here. And the further we go the other direction towards the Big Bear Dam, the more snow you will run into. So for those of you who are looking for a lot of snow when you come up here, you wanna go towards the Big Bear Dam and stay over near like Boulder Bay or the village area and just that direction over there. For less snow and less tourism, this side of town, when if, 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 if you can find some of the Airbnbs, because there's still a lot of Airbnbs over here, but it's not as prevalent as Big Bear Lake because Big Bear Lake is where all the resorts are and all the fine restaurants, so forth and so on. And I always like to point out up here on the left-hand side is Big Bear Smoke and Vape. It's not just smoke and vape stuff, you guys. They have other little 
local trinkets, shirts and stuff, some like memorabilia to take home with you guys. This guy is one of the nicest people in the world. I love him to death. He, uh, his name is Sahil and he, he owns it. I love talking about his business because he is such a good man and has always treated me with so much respect up here. I came up here, my life was miserable. I just wanted to die. I really did, but I wanted to be in the snow and die. I'm so depressed and um, he basically took me in and just made me feel welcome and I will never forget that. And he is such a good dude. If you mention that I send you guys there, I'm certain he'll give you a discount. I'm certain he will. I'm not just saying that just to say it because he has said, Nick, anyone you send, I will definitely take care of them. So that leads me to believe that he's going to take care of you and give you a discount. So it's right here, well, left here, past this thrift boutique. It's this whole bottom floor right here, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. And that's their uh, one of two stores. As I said, give those guys a shot. As I, they have local stuff. Um, it's not just smoke and 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 vape stuff. But as I said, if you want to get hooked up, if you if you do use nicotine products and stuff like that, that's the place to go. And he has another shop in in, in Big Bear Lake, um, next to Sandy's Sports Bar. And uh, we'll be driving by there a little bit later. But yeah, anyway. So we are in Big Bear City. As you can see on the sides of the roads, the snow is getting less and less, which is a bummer. It's very sad. But I thought we would drive up to Sugarloaf just to the, not the very, very top, but just to where Maple meets Baldwin Lane and then come back down Baldwin. And I think you guys uh, will, will get a gist of what's going on. So yeah, once again, to recap, all this snow on the sides of the road, what melts during the day and does not evaporate will freeze at night. And you need to be super, super careful. You need to be super careful. Look at that side of the street. There's like no snow over there. That's so sad. That whole two feet we were supposed to get. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't want you guys who are coming up this weekend to be worried about seeing this very little bit of snow right here because uh, when we go to the other side of town, as I said, we're not going to go past the village really. But when we go to the other side of town, you'll, you'll, you'll see as we, as we turn around and head back that way, there will be more snow. It's not going to be much more. It's not going to be much more, but that side of town and closer to the Big Bear Dam, you can drive through some um, neighborhoods and try to find little hills to, you know, sled down also if you don't want to pay for any sledding here's an, an area you can come come sled but you'd have to park somewhere and um, it says no trespassing so I guess you're not supposed to you're not supposed to but I would never ever suggest that you guys do something that's going to get you in in any trouble but I just want you guys to have the best possible time because without you guys, none of us get a chance to live here. It's the truth. It's actual. Everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. Okay, we're turning right on Maple to head up into Sugar Loaf. Into the loaf. I tell you, the loaf. And we are, as I said, just going to go up to the top here where the fire department is. And then we're going to hang a left-hand turn on Baldwin to come back down. And Baldwin will drop us off on Highway 38, which is another main thoroughfare or route into Big Bear and out of Big Bear. It's the longer, more scenic route as far as I'm concerned. Definitely longer, more scenic as far as I'm concerned. And here's Big Bear High School to the right. Let's see if we can get a good view of the hike school. The hike school. Here's the hike school. It's a pretty big school. We got a cemetery right here. So the further you go into Sugarloaf, like at the very, very top, you'll get more snow because it's closer to the mountain. But typically, once again, most parts of Sugarloaf are like most parts of Big Bear City where you just don't get as much snow as you do in the Big Bear Lake area. All right, guys, so we're gonna make a left turn here. Right. 
This is Baldwin. You know what, guys? We ended up going straight because I actually wanted to, to take us a little further in, just so you guys can see at the very, not the very top, but midway up you will get a little more snow up here. I didn't want anyone to say, that's not true, they get more snow up there. It, it is true, and we are, as you can see, getting closer to the mountain. So we're gonna turn right here and then kind of just go through some of the side streets to get back down, but we will take Baldwin. This is Barton, by the way, but we're turning right on Barton. We will take Baldwin up. Um, so are we gonna turn here on Victoria? Uh, nah. We're gonna turn turn right here on Marino Lane. And then go down. Okay, we are on Marino Lane. So one other thing that is important for you guys to note is a lot of the side streets are still gonna have ice and snow like this. They do get plowed as well, but the main streets going through town that take you guys to and fro to the neighborhoods and the resorts, wherever you're going, are typically maintained like constantly when we have snow. So. The main streets, as you'll see when we get back down the mountain onto Highway 38 and then back onto Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard, you'll see are maintained pretty well. I really want you guys just to be safe and have a great time when you come up here. That's all, that's all I want for you guys. Just have a freaking blast, come enjoy yourselves. Um, once again, without you guys, I don't get the opportunity to live here. How am I gonna find a job when there's no one up here purchasing anything or spending any money? So because of you guys, once again, it's very important that, that you guys realize it's because of you guys that 99% of us get to live here. That's it. Like, so I'm trying to live in a state of gratitude always when it comes to you guys. And I will never, ever be ungrateful for anything. Yeah, I get frustrated sometimes with some of the antics that do go on, but that's in every town. That's in every town. And, and since I'm on the road all the time doing these videos and such, yeah, I, I get frustrated sometimes, but at the same time, I remind myself immediately when I start getting frustrated that without these people up here, none of us get to live here. And you know what? You guys deserve vacations and deserve to have a good spot to come to and deserve to be treated with respect. End of story. So, here we go. We are going back down. We are here. We are there. We are every freaking where. All right, let's turn right here. And then we're gonna stay on this. Get on this and get on winning. If you wanna change the world, shut your mouth and stop the spinning. Get off this. All right, folks, this is some black ice I'm on right now. My brakes just kind of let out on me. That was, guys, I'm gonna be honest, that was the first slip that I've had this whole storm that we just had. Right there on that little piece of freaking ice where it, it looked wet. But it's 36 degrees up here. As I said, we are on Baldwin right now, and Baldwin's gonna take us down to Highway 38. Which if you guys do have a little bit extra time, and by the way, Highway 38, is the, that's the route that I send my mom when I can't go pick her up down the hill to come see me. She's, she's 80 years old, God bless her. I love that woman so much. I put her through so much hell as a youngster, but um, Highway 38, that's, that's the direct that's the route that I send ever ever that I believe is the safest yes it's it's significantly longer and you do hang on a second and you do hit a higher elevation hang on a sec guys that's that's my wife hey baby you're on a live video right now I'm making a video to show how much snow is remaining in Big Bear so you're on the video how are you dear I am hungry are you hungry? I am Nick. It's very nice to meet you, Hungry. <laughs> I am, and I am cold. Oh my gosh, you have two different names. You are so lucky. <laughs> why are you cold? My first name is Hungry and my last name is Cold. Why Why are you cold, baby? Um, Because it's 38 degrees out. <laughs> it's uh, according to my car, it's 35 degrees, baby. Well, now I'm even colder. <laughs> Well, when, when, when are you going to be home? Because I'm just, I'm on Highway 38. I just left Sugarloaf and I'm going to take Highway uh, down to Big Bear Boulevard and then go through the village and then I'm, I, I'm coming back home. So are you able to wait a, f a few minutes for me, baby? Yeah, I was hoping we could go get some tacos as Azteca. 
I have a better idea. Why don't we go get some tacos at Azteca, babe? Ooh, I love your ideas. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I can come up with them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you. I'll I'm, see you soon. Then I'm sorry I'm such home. a pain in the butt sometimes. I really am. I love you so much, babe. So yeah, I will I will see you shortly. As I said, I'm I'm coming up on I, I'm on Highway 38 coming up to Big Bear Boulevard to turn left to head back into uh, our side of town, but I'm I'm gonna be passing Moon Ridge, going through the village around, and then I will be back home. Right. Okay, so don't drive fast, but hurry because I'm starving. Should I put the order in? Um, you know what? Do can you set your timer for five minutes just so it's not super cold? Um, because I I did have you to. Want, did you want I, your usual? Uh, you know what? I'm uh, yeah, a bean and cheese burrito wet with the red sauce. Have them put the sauce on <laughs> the bean and cheese burrito. And then, uh, um, let me see. I have to stop at home because I have to get my wallet. So that's why I, I, I'm saying maybe wait five or ten minutes before you uh, place the order just so it's not sitting there cold for us. <clears throat> All right, my dear? All right. Okay. All righty. I love you very much. Love you. Love you too, babe. Love you too. Bye, babe. Bye. All right, guys. Sorry about that. That was the wifey. And, yeah, so we're on Big Bear Boulevard now. Uh, I'm sorry I I didn't tell you guys when we turned on to Highway 38 that we were on Highway 38, but I'm hoping that you realized that. So now we are headed, this is Maple. We turned up Maple to go up to Sugarloaf, and then we came down the backside. So, 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 so. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. That woman is so amazing, you guys. I mean, seriously, like, look at me. And just, just imagine that I have like a supermodel for a wife. She is so beautiful, so smart, such an incredible heart. Like this woman has been through so much and she is such an amazing person. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know how or what she sees in me or why she's, she chose me, but you know what? I am the luckiest guy on the face of the earth. I love her so much. And I'm hoping you guys are doing well. Seriously. I love you guys so much. I love talking to you guys. I love getting the beautiful comments. I'll never be able to thank you guys enough for all the love and support that you guys constantly give me. As I say, it's it's really saved me in so many ways. You guys have truly saved me in so many ways. And I just I just I just want you guys to really understand how much I love you guys. It's sad to say that. So, so I have six older siblings, right? Six older brothers and sisters. I'm the baby of seven. And I really love you guys more than I love my own siblings. And I know that sounds really bad off the bat, but if you understood, and I'm sure a lot of you with, with siblings un understand, but at the same time, like, it's just been not a great situation with my family. With my mom and dad, it's fantastic. And they have forgiven me for all my alcoholism back in the day. I haven't had a drink in nine years and seven months. Um, and I even quit smoking that green stuff. And yeah, so I, I, I just, but I love you guys more than I think I love most of my siblings. And that's a really sad, sad thing because you should love your family unconditionally. But if, if you guys knew, and I'll talk about it sometime, the things that I've been through with them, then you would you would understand. I, I know it's, it still doesn't sound justified at all, but you guys bring me peace and joy into my heart. You guys make me feel like I'm worth worthwhile and worth living. Um, you guys treat me with so much love and you guys show me so much gratitude for what I do. And it's this was the biggest unexpected gift that I could have ever received in my entire life is, is you guys. I mean, I never thought that this YouTube channel would ever produce anything like this. I started this channel because I couldn't afford any thumb drives to save all my snow videos on because when I get really freaking depressed, I like to watch it snow and be in the snow and it, it, it just, it takes away all my pain. It's a temporary solution for a long-term problem. Um, and you guys have done so much for me. I mean, you guys have done so much for me emotionally. So 
that's why I have more love for you guys than I do most of my own siblings. And thank you. Thank you for being so loving towards me. And that's, that's enough. I know I'm always thanking you guys for being so awesome, but I don't want to lose you guys for anything. I, I never want to lose you guys. This channel has the most amazing community of people. <clears throat> and I think a big reason that that's also the case is in the 3,000 videos that I've posted over eight years, I, I don't ask you guys to like five times a video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, share it with your friends. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do, -do 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 -do. I don't do any of that. Um, and I think it shows a, a bit of authenticity. And it, when you ask people to subscribe to your channel, then I feel like in, in some ways that obligates you to do more. Not that I wouldn't want to do things. I, I, I take your guys' requests often and I'm super excited to do things for you guys. But it's, it's nice because I can keep this channel at my own pace and do this channel exactly how I love to do it. Yeah, it's, it hasn't really changed in, in eight years, but um, not being obligated to, to, to anything makes it, makes it so much better. I, I believe, as I said, that doesn't mean that when you guys ask me something, I'm not going to do it. I love you guys. Like I would, I would do anything for you guys. I've had quite a few people who have Airbnbs up here on this channel who, um, numerous times have asked me because they were worried because some of their guests were like acting crazy and stuff. And, and they just wanted me to like drive by just to see like what's going on, if everything looks okay. And, and guys, to make you guys happy and, and give you peace of mind so you don't have to drive all the way up here, I'm happy to do that stuff for you guys. Whatever you guys need me to do to make you feel just at peace. Like, I'm, you guys are so worth it. And it's never going out of my way. So never, ever, never think you're putting me out for any reason. I get so thrilled whenever you guys need me to do something for you. So, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for making me feel like that. I am so loving you guys so much and I'll never let you guys down. I've been saying that for years and I don't think I've let you guys down yet. And if I have, please say something because I'd like to change my behavior or whatever I'm doing if I'm not like the same two that, that you watched at the very, very beginning. Yes, I don't cuss nearly as much or hardly ever on this channel anymore. But when I first started, you guys, every other word was the F word. If you watch the first couple years of this channel, anyone who's a kid, do not please. Like, it was horrible. I was I was horrible. And I don't know why I thought it was so cool to, to talk like that. But it's, it, it's not. And the more women and children that watch this channel, the more disrespectful I started seeing how my commentary was. Um, it's really not that hard for me to not cuss. So... I know that sounds stupid and sounds like a very little, small issue, but no, that was a, a huge issue for me. And you guys have turned me into a much better man. You really have. I owe you guys everything. I owe you guys my life, my existence. Um, the happiness that I get comes from you guys and my wife. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm truly, truly, truly grateful for you guys. And never, ever forget that. Never, ever forget that, you guys, please. Like, I love you guys with all my heart. And you guys bring tears to my eyes so often when I'm reading these comments. Like, it's it's something special. It is something special. You guys are something special. So anyway, gosh, I keep on... I'm, I'm always going off on tangents, aren't I? But anyway, so we're, in, we're back in Big Bear Lake. We're on Big Bear Boulevard, Highway 18. And we are coming up to the grocery stores to the grocery stores what you gonna do when you pass them one of the most beautiful views in town is snow summit coming around that corner right here so here's stater brothers and those shops up there you got a boost mobile up there my friend jeff is a part owner of boost mobile he's one of the, the nicest people ever he actually was one of the folks who gave me my start up here when Radio Shack was still a thing, he gave me my job at Radio Shack up here. And I am so grateful for him too because I was miserable when I first moved up here, you guys. As I said, I moved up here just to just to die. 
my family abandoned me, exiled me basically. Um, I was going through just some serious em em like emotional problems, which I still do to this day, but it's a lot better um, because of you guys. You guys give me purpose. And that's the most important thing that I can have is purpose and hope. So thank you guys for that. Over here we got DIY to the right. We've got Vons right there. I prefer to shop at Vons only because of the self checkout. It's so much easier for me. But one thing that's really cool about shopping up here is that because I've been doing this channel for eight, this is my eighth year now and I've never missed one single storm. Um, I get recognized everywhere I go up here and it's so cool. It is so cool, especially when little kids ask me for my autograph. Like you guys, it's like, I, and I feel like I'm such, just like such a tool, such a dork, <laughs> you know, like, and when little kids ask me for my autograph, it's just the most incredible feeling in the world. And I will always be extra, extra humble because I don't ever feel like I deserve any of this. I don't deserve you guys, I don't feel like. But for some some reason, somehow, you guys keep on being a huge part of my life. And I will never, ever, ever do anything to screw that up. I promise you that. So anyway, back to the weather talk. So yeah, there's, no, there's nothing on the radar, you guys. There is no snow on the radar for the longest time to come. Um, just a week and a half ago, it looked like this, this weekend starting now, we, we could have gotten another well two feet of snow like they said we were going to get this last storm the totals that they said we could have got this last storm was like i think 23 inches 24 inches so really close to two feet of snow and where i live we only got two and a half inches which is kind of a bummer but um especially for you guys because i don't want you guys to waste your money coming up here and taking time off work because that's double wasting your money when there's not that much snow i want you guys to have the most incredible time ever and coming up here does not allow that to happen when there's not not much snow because you know a lot of the guests are not in as good of a mood as they could be um and trust me i understand even when when i was a youngster when i would come up here it was really 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 horrible the forecasting as well it was always wrong just such a freaking bummer it was always wrong there were times when uh, I would come up here and literally there's like six to 12 inches of snow expected and then literally nothing happened. And we would take time off of, off of school. Parents would take time out of their schedules to take us. And yeah, I just, I always want you guys to have the best time possible. And I can't blame the forecasters. It's not their fault. You know, they're just following the, the two main weather models which is what pretty much all the meteorologists out there follow. And um, they're, they're, just, they're just doing the best that they can. And if, if, the, if, the, if the forecast is showing what they see, then they, they have to say that. So I feel really, really bad when I get so frustrated with them, but it's not their fault. It's not their fault at all. It's just literally guys, can you find me in the eight years I've been doing this and of every single storm that I've done, can you find me one? Just one single storm where we actually got more snow than they actually predicted. Find me one, just one, and I'll try to figure out something to like give you, <laughs> like if you can, because I've, I've never seen it. They're always wrong, never in our favor. It's always in the other, other direction where it's less snow. Um, and I know I complain a lot about that, and I'm sorry, I don't wanna sound like a whiny little baby, I really don't, but it really frustrates me because then I feel like I look like a jerk because a lot of you will come up here based on what I say and then nothing nothing happens. And so I, I just, you know, I, w I want to apologize. I'm doing the best that I can. Um, and as I said, the meteorologists are doing the best they can. I just wish it was more accurate. I really do, but it's definitely not. And it looks like we got a fire truck coming up here. So we got to pull over here. So yeah, we're on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. This is kind of the middle of Big Bear Lake area where you got lots of shopping and restaurants and 
food, well, food and restaurants would be the same darn thing. Here, we gotta pull over right now. Let this am amber lamps, let the amber lamps pass. I hope everyone's okay. There goes the amber lamps. All right. So yeah, once again, I go off on these tangents. There is no snow coming in the near future whatsoever. I'm not, there's nothing on the freaking radar, you guys. Um, temperatures are gonna be going up a little bit for the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, which is when my mom's gonna be here, which I'm so stoked about. That's gonna be the warmest days of the month. We're gonna hit the, the low 50s for our high temperatures on Christmas day and the couple days before Christmas day. It's such a bummer, such a bummer. I, I'm glad to see those temps, but with no new snow coming, all, all this snow that you see on the sides in town here, this is, this is all gonna be gone. I'm thinking probably by the end of this weekend, most of this will be gone. It's been really cold lately, so that's why some of this snow has stuck around, but most of it's gonna be gone. And I'm just super bummed out for you guys. I do my snow dance in private because I'm really bad at dancing and that's not helping. Nothing I'm doing is helping to bring more snow to our area, so. Uh, I know it's not my fault, but forgive me. All right, so here's the village. We're, we're gonna be going through the village, but coming out that direction, we're, we're gonna be exiting from here. So we're gonna go in the back of the village. The village. Oh, and this place looks, are they open yet? The Marina Riviera. Well, this is one of the first hotels I put my mom up here years ago. Um, and they closed it down for this past year doing a bunch of remodeling and it, and, I, and I saw some cars in the parking lot so I'm wondering if it's if it's open that's a great spot you guys um, unfortunately back then I didn't record the video of staying there but for those of you who want to see where I've stayed there's only maybe two or three spots up here that I didn't record and that was before I was I was thinking you know what I'll start recording all, all the lodging of where I stay so you guys can see it and make a determination whether you like it or not to make it easier so you don't waste your money. Um, so I have one playlist on this channel, you guys, and it's just the lodging. That's, that's all it is, it's just lodging. There's nothing else, no other playlists. So if you guys wanna see where I've stayed and, and try to copy me a bit, that would be awesome. That would be, I would feel awesome if you guys would, you know, copy that. So anyway, we're gonna turn left here on Big Bear Boulevard. We're still on Big Bear Boulevard, but we're gonna be heading into the village and it turns into Village Drive. So if you make a right, you're going down Big Bear Boulevard and to, to, to head out of town. But this direction to the right, you guys, is where you'll get more snow. As I said, the further you go towards the Big Bear Dam, the more snow you will get. So let's go through the village, guys. So you guys would be shocked. I don't really talk that much regularly, but as soon as I hit record, it feels like you all are right here with me and I do not shut up. So forgive me about that. I've stayed here in their biggest room here. It's like 1500 square feet. It was only like 150 a night, I think. Um, I really wanna stay here, but it's so expensive. I, I'm dying to stay here. It's called the club at, at Big Bear. It's just it's it's beautiful and it's fairly new here you go ma'am you want to you want to cross uh, or or not no worries this is a, one of the three fine dining restaurants that i love up here it's called oakside we just passed oakside the other two are captain's anchorage and peppercorn grill um, if we're going in order of the ones that are my favorite of the fine dining, it would be Captain's Anchorage because they have the best prime rib. And then the next one would be Peppercorn Grill because I like their, their filet mignon. And then that place we just passed, Oakside. Um, I haven't been there in a long time. I think the last time I was there, I got like a high-end burger. <laughs> but that's my diet, guys. I have a horrible diet. I'm just like, just greasy food fast food type stuff 
all the time. You want to turn on your, your 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 signal, buddy? Yeah, that's what they're made for. They're made for signaling. And yeah, this is a great little shopping area, you guys. As you can imagine, it's not the cheapest, but just to have the experience to come up here shopping and spending time with your family is super, super cool. You got these, these fire pits all over the place up here. Not all over the place, but a decent amount. And they are just awesome. Keep you warm when you're, you're, you're walking by. There's a barbecue place, Jasper's Barbecue. I've never eaten there yet. There's a movie theater, Village Theaters. I haven't been to a movie in the longest time. Not a fan of Hollywood these days. Like with the movies that they put out, they're just not creative anymore. It's just a repeat of the same movies over and over again. Just repeats. And here's Peppercorn Grill. It's the number two as far as I'm concerned of the fine dining restaurants up here. I really suggest you guys give it a, give it a shot. I would never, ever, ever refer you guys anywhere that I haven't eaten. Ever. Okay, what is this guy doing? Dude, come on, bro. Seriously, man. It's unbelievable, these people. See, I get frustrated, and I shouldn't get get frustrated, but when you just stop in the middle of the road like that and you don't have any signals on, and um, yeah, it's just, I know I'm a jerk sometimes. I'm not trying to be, you guys. We're leaving the village right now. We are Audi 5000. And now we're going to head back to the Moon Ridge area. Seriously, I, I try not to get frustrated, you guys. I really try try not to because everyone's up here just to have a good time. And it's it's not that easy to find parking up here. It, it's it's not that easy to do anything up here. So you gotta forgive me. Like I'm I can be such a such a freaking tool. Um, but as I say, I catch myself like that and remind myself that without those people, none of us get to live here. And I am so lucky to live here instead of down there where I'm from. It's just a cesspool of just negativity um, in most most areas down there. I'm from Newport Beach. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, a pretty decent area. But you're not, you're not going to get, like, uh, the attitudes up here that you usually get down there. And I... I didn't realize how significant of a difference it is up here. There's, there's, it's just so much more relaxed, just chilling, just having a good time. Um, not taking life too seriously up here. Of course I take life seriously when I have to, but other than that, you know, just enjoy your lives. You guys, we don't get much time on this earth and we only get one shot at this thing. And I know I'm a hypocrite sometimes, but when it comes to, uh, to just letting things go and just blowing things off like that's the best thing you can do is just is just brush things off get back on your feet keep on going don't let other other people or other people's actions affect you negatively um i just uh i struggle with that like big time I wanted to say something right there. You saw that guy, like, right as I pull up, he wanted to pull out even further. It's like, really? Like, really? What's going Like, come on. <laughs> anyway. So this is what it looks like right now, you guys. As I said, these wet spots are going to freeze at nighttime, and you need to be extra, extra cautious because I don't want anything to happen to you guys. It's no joke. These wet spots will turn into a sheet of ice. So we're coming up to Moon Ridge Road where we're gonna hang a right-hand turn. And Moon Ridge Road is where you turn to go to Bear Mountain, the ski resort called Bear Mountain. Drive safely. Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. Ah, it's such a beautiful place, you guys. And seriously, I really am working on 
getting less and less frustrated. Please do not get upset with me about that. I'm only human. Um, it's it's nothing personal. I'm sure I frustrate other people. Like it's it's and especially when we're packed up here like this, it's just so tough because so many people don't have much time up here. And so they're they're trying to get to do everything they can quickly, but it's really hard to do anything in a quick pace up here. In Big Bear, like just plan on bringing your patience when you come up here. I'm telling you, you want to bring patience when you come up here. There's no other way to really enjoy this place as much as humanly possible without bringing your patience with you. And some of you asked me if there's a Christmas tree place to, to buy Christmas trees in. There sure is right here. Staring right at it. So in between Summit Boulevard and Moon Ridge Road, you can buy a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. Gosh, I'm so embarrassed that I can't can't behave myself all the time and I get upset. As I said, it's not like people are doing it on purpose. So I'm the jerk, 100%. Um, and I really hope that you guys do accept my apology because I'm sincere about it. I know that I can't keep on doing the same things and apologizing over and over again without changing anything and then expecting people to just forgive me always, but I really am a pretty darn decent person. I'm always looking out for other people, um, but sometimes my my selfishness comes through. And as you see on the road, that's where my selfishness comes through. I would never do anything to like, to like get back at somebody or like drive like a jerk to get back at them or anything like that. But I'm just really embarrassed with my behavior sometimes. So uh, last time, I'm super sorry about that, you guys. And uh, I deserve whatever critiques come. I really do. So let me see here. That's the wife texting me. Yes, you can order right now, my 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 baby. Absolutely, my darling. Let me tell her where I'm at. I'm about to turn on to Moon Ridge. So I'll be home in less than five minutes, my beautiful, beautiful angel. Okay. Guys, thank you again for listening to me. I know I never shut up. I know I'm super annoying and I'm not trying to be. It's just, as I say, when I hit the record button, it really feels like you guys are all here with me and all the love and respect that that you guys show me you are my family and it feels so good to have you guys in my life so thank you so much for putting up with me always i'm always going to be here for you guys i'm never going to let you guys down so thank you again this is how much snow is left in in big you know what we're going to drive up by bear mountain you know what we're, we're going to do the, the the moon ridge tour real quick that's what we're going to do so hang tight Hey baby, I'm still recording. I'm gonna call you real quick. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the secret sledding area that's not so secret anymore. Because we're gonna be driving kind of close to it. So th these are the, the new roundabouts here. So you basically just wanna come through the first roundabout like that and then go all the way to the next roundabout it's not too much further up here but the street is called club view you want to stay in this right lane and when you get to club view you're gonna just stay here and go to the right it's right before you get to the zoo I figured I'll tell you guys these these uh, directions again I've showed you guys before but I, I want you guys to really know um, this is a, f a free sledding area when, when, when we have some snow and we should have some snow up there still. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this second roundabout part and you see where it says Big Bear Zoo. You wanna stay to the right here and this is called Club View Drive. You wanna stay on this until this dead ends at the top. You'll be passing the zoo on the left-hand side, the golf course on the left-hand side 
and eventually you'll come up to a street called Gold Mine, which is where you would turn left to get to the parking lot for Bear Mountain. You do not want to deviate from this road at all. Oh, look at the golf course. It's so beautiful and so white right now. <laughs> I used to see a lot of snowmen out there because a lot of people would like park right here, hop the fence and go make some, go build some snowmen. Wee! Yee -hee! You guys are so awesome. You guys are so much fun. I really always want you guys to have the best possible time you can up here. And right now the temperature has dropped to 33 degrees. As you can see, 33 degrees will bring you to your knees. And this, this part of the main road here gets kind of messy, you guys, even days and days later after the storm, because it's not a lot of direct sunlight right here. And you, as, as you can see, the closer we get to the mountain, the more snow, like significantly more snow too. And it's not even that big of a difference in, in, in distance, really. Like it's, it's just crazy. There's a lot more snow up here. There's maybe at the bottom of Bear Mountain, which is straight ahead here, maybe four inches of snow. So almost twice as much as we got at my house, which is right down the street. So to get to the sledding area, you guys, you're gonna just stay straight. Where this white car is going, you're gonna stay straight and go up till it dead ends. But we're turning left on Gold Mine. So you wanna go up that way until it dead ends and you'll be at the sledding location. Right here is Bear Mountain, folks. Let me roll down this freaking window. There's no one behind us, so we're not holding up any traffic. Trust me, I try not to be a, a hypocrite at all. I try to do the best I can. And then this is a spare parking lot. This is the golf course, but they use this for Bear Mountain parking as well. But yeah, this is what we got going. This is Bear Mountain, folks. This is my favorite place to ski. When I have a chance to ski, yo. There's no one behind us still. That's why we're going so slow. Here's hole number one at the golf course. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, baby, Bear Mountain, you gotta love it. You gots to love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, so gold mine here turns into Moon Ridge Road. So you'll see. We're on Moon Ridge Road now. Gold mine is only that little middle part that you can park for Bear Mountain or the golf course. That's all that gold mine is. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love this place so much. Guys, don't ever hesitate. Any questions you have, you know I'm here for you. Um, once again, I'm sorry I talk so much. When I hit record, it really feels like you guys are right here with me. And I just love talking to you guys. I love talking to you guys, as you guys can tell. I never shut up. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing because like, I know what I'm gonna be talking about usually is just about what our weather's like, and that's it. But a lot of times my experience, my experiences in, in life end up coming up and, and because I've gone through a lot of hard times, I feel it's very, very important for me not to be too shy to share these things with you guys because if I can touch one person's life and help one person get through something, oh my gosh, what a beautiful thing that is, right guys? I mean, what a beautiful gift that is. So I love you guys and I will always do my best to give you guys the full honesty, no matter how it makes me look because you know what, as I said, even if it makes me look like a total jerk, douchebag, whatever, as long as it touches people's lives, that's all I care about. That's all I care about. And this is the golf course as well. This whole area over here. It's so unbelievably beautiful, you guys. I am so grateful to live here. I love it so much. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. we got to slow it down here. You're in the road, guy. Ugh. See, there I go again. On my own. Do, 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 do. 
and I'm not a perfect driver. I drive kind of like a bat out of hell sometimes. So I know that hypocrisy is a big part of what I do and I try to not be a hypocrite because <laughs> I don't I don't like being that that guy, but I tend to catch myself being a hypocrite all the time. Here's the zoo. So remember when we came up Moon Ridge Road earlier, we we hung a right-hand turn on Club View right here. We went that away. And this time we're just gonna go this away. I must say, we're gonna go this away. Ding 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 ding. Alright. Moon Ridge Road, y'all. So we're almost done with this drive, but once again, thank you guys for everything. Um, as I said, I really am sorry that I don't have the ability to shut up and I keep on talking and probably get a lot of you so irritated with me. Um, instead of being mean, if you don't like me talking all the time, you can mute it and just look at the beauty. But sometimes people make mean comments and it, it does hurt my feelings. I am human and like, it really does hurt, hurt my feelings because I, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm opening up to you guys. I'm, I'm sharing my heart and soul with you guys. So thank you guys for understanding. And uh, thank you for everything. Uh, if you have any questions about this drive or anything about the sledding area or anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for you guys. Thank you for listening to me go on and on and on and on. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys very much. It is, what is the date again? What is the date again? Hang on a second. It is December 16th, Friday, December 16th, 2022 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. You guys take care of yourselves. I love you guys so freaking much. Bye, you guys.